Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy and in my channel I talk about plants and my life and journey with my plants. Um, I have mentioned to you guys before that I'm going to do a Hoya care tip video, but I figured I will do a Hoi, my entire Hoya collection video prior to the care tip video so that you guys kind of get an idea of where I keep my Hoyas and what they look like and so the you will have more contacts when I do the care tip video. I hope this helps and I hope you guys enjoy my Hoyas. I am not sure how long the video is going to be. I may have to do a two part video but let's just start it, start it and see. And the corner of this cabinet, this is my IKEA cabinet. I originally bought it to for a lot of my aeroids, but then I realized how much my Hoyas enjoy living in here. So then I started putting in more and more Hoyas in here, as you will get to see soon. In this corner is my Hoya Hush Kellyanna Yellow. It's actually working on a pedonkel right now. Let me bring you closer so you can see. Here's a little pedonkel. Next to it is my Borneo Rinzii. It was stagnant for a while. Such a beautiful Hoya. It was stagnant for a while, but um, it has started putting out some new growth. Uh, in front of this guy, I have a Hoya Grey Ghost. Super silver, very beautiful. Next to the Grey Ghost, we have a beautiful Hoya Gangnam Gating. It is uh, sun tanning very beautifully in the under the grow light. Super beautiful. And it has a really, really long uh, tendril. with super plump aerial um, roots. And then in front of that is my Hoya Luca Nosa Silver. It really, really enjoys living in the cabinet. It just has put out quite a, all these are new leaves. There's a new leaf over here and still growing more new leaves. Behind it is my Hoya Corniana. They have very similar leaf shapes, although this one is plumper and it has really beautiful splashes on the leaves. It's a new leaf growing right there. Next to the Corniana is my Hoya Hushkeliana Variegata. It's going through a little bit of a growth spurt uh, here in the cabinet. It's, there is a pinker leaf in the back, that one is new. And uh, here, I took a little cutting and I rooted in the this sphagnum moss and it started to put out new leaves too. That's really exciting because this one doesn't root easily. I really want a fuller pot, but I'm always so tentative about uh, cutting it and rooting it. Because as you can see, it's a smaller plant and I'm just afraid if I cut it and it doesn't root, then I lose the leaves. So maybe once it grows a little bit bigger, I will try to do another propagation. And in front of her is my Hoya IR26. I love this Hoya. When, when it's grown under brighter light, the leaves come out red and uh, it also has some really beautiful splashing as well. So pretty. All right. And then towards the back of the cabinet, I have a Hoya Australis Lisa. Um, it seems to be a much happier gal living in Lekka. And in front of her is my Hoya Fuanensis. This one is a cousin of uh, Hoya Caldata, so there's uh, they share quite a bit of similarities and preference in uh, care. And in front of the Fuanensis is my Hoya Paulinera. 
you can see there's a bit of a new growth point here it's taken me a really really long time to get this plant to grow for me um, so there's a growth point right here and then let's see over here too there's another growth point um, there is a, another growth point by the stem but it it's really small right now so it's kind of a little bit harder to see right here so this guy is I've uh, checked its roots because it wasn't growing for a really really long time the root system is really good so I guess it was just waiting for the right moment to start growing um, beside the ho this pollinera I have my um, Hoya Dekiai which you guys have seen uh, quite a few times already because um, the this peduncle had just bloomed so I've I've shown you guys in my recent videos I'll post a link to that video um, below so for those of you who've missed it uh, you could get uh, to take a look it's also on my Instagram as well the bloom is absolutely just so yummy and delicious and cute I mean I didn't eat it that yummy is in it's just so adorable um, so not only did that peduncle bloom, I had another peduncle back here bloom as well. Uh, right, this one. Kind of harder to see, but there you go. That's the other peduncle. They both bloom. So hopefully after that, this guy's gonna grow some new leaves for for me. Okay, moving to the back. In the very back, this is my Hoya obscura. It really likes bright light as well to produce this kind of red color. Hasn't put out any new growth for a really long time. I tried taking a cutting to root it in water and it rotted on me back in the summer. So I've just kind of left it be. And then in front of her is my Hoya elliptica, which you have seen it too in my previous Hoya, top 10 favorite Hoya video. The Hoya elliptica is just so unique and so beautiful and um, this one I actually have two different kinds in here this is a rounder leaf form and this is a narrow longer leaf form um, and they are all doing pretty well this is a new leaf this is not the new leaf coming in and then this guy was a cutting and it looks like it's working on the new leaf as well yeah really love that one Okay, let's go check out the back. So here, I have a Caldera Sumatra big leaf. Um, yeah, and it's put out a lot of vines. So yeah, it seems to also be quite happy in the cabinet's condition. And in front of her is my Hoya Rosita. So cute, it's like a miniature version of Hoya Waietiai. It has that kind of dog rim um, feature as well. And in the very back corner, I have my Hoya Serpents. Love this Hoya. It's so, so, so cute. And it really, really loves um, humidity. I grew grew this from a cutting. I rooted it in water and uh, kept it in a very high humidity setting. And it was just growing really well in that setting. Has it has actually multiple peduncles right now, but not sure if they will actually bloom. But yeah, I think this is such a, a cute hoya. So on this top shelf, we also have this <laughs> jewel orchid which is working on a bloom, but it's taken a while to bloom. Um, in front of that is a Hoya Lambia. It's a really big leaf Hoya. It was actually a gift from Justin from Tropical Life Supply. When I placed a bigger order with him, he sent this to me as a gift, um, Hoya Lambia. And it hasn't done any growing for a while. That's why I also moved it, moved it into this cabinet. Okay, so that's the top shelf. My second shelf consists mostly aeroids. 
um, but there are three Hoyas in here. So I will show you guys those Hoyas. Um, back here, this Hoya is called Scorton. Oh, I can never pronounce the name. Look at that cute new leaves. Score Tachinii. I really love this Hoya. It's so unique. The leaves has these like fine speckles. Focus. Fine speckles that look like a starry night nice sky. Isn't it pretty? Um, and then I have this like little growth board. This is might be a little bit harder to see, but this is a Hoya Jennifer. I got it as a rooted cutting and I love this Hoya. The venation is just so stunning and it's a very succulent Hoya too. But the stem was like this short. So it was really hard to grow it in a pot. It kept falling out because uh, as you guys know, Hoya uh, soil mix is very loose very airy so it wasn't keeping the plant in the pot but I ended up mounting it on this uh, moss board and it has been growing quite well this is a new leaf that it's put out since being in here so I'm really happy about that uh, okay so okay the last Hoya in this shell there it is Sarawak again this is one of my favorite Hoyas the leaves are so big. Look how big it is. So pretty. Um, the reason why, this is actually a cutting that I have rooted. The reason why I did that is because the mother plant wasn't doing really well. So I transferred it from soil to Leca and it was declining. So I was really scared of losing that Hoya. So I decided to take a cutting just in case that I lose the whole mother plant. Uh, so the mother plant is still recuperating. I'll show you guys. It's just underneath that shelf on the bottom shelf uh, I have all of my hoi. Oh, this is not the bottom shelf yet. This is the third shelf <laughs> Right, so the third shelf. It's really jam. I don't Really know if this is a good idea as much as the Hoyas love being in here Whenever I water them or check them out. Sometimes I knock new leaves off the vine and it's really heartbreaking they just they really enjoy this environment so I started like putting trying to put more and more Hoyas in here and then so taking care of them has become a very I have to just be so careful with my movements um, in the back is my Hoya Michelle um, there's some black dots on it. When I first purchased this Hoya, the seller told me to not splash water on it, and then I ended up doing that. So I wonder if that's the cause of that. But if you guys have any other, any ideas of what it could be, please let me know. Um, next to it is my Hoya Matil. This is my one of my original Hoyas, and I don't know if I could adore it more than I do. It's just so beautiful, it's shiny, it's splashy, and it grows super, super well. Right now it's going through a bit of a growth spurt. As you can see, there's some new growth. Um, next to it, <laughs> you can see bits of other Hoyas that just like tangle together. This is a Cangiana variegata. It's got wavy leaves and beautiful variegation. Um, and then you can see one leaf of a Hoya Rangsang. Uh, this new growth that you're actually t lo looking at, it's actually from Hoya Wilbur Graves, but I'll show you the plant later on. This is just a super long vine that's vining over here. The Rangsang is um, down. The plant is down here. Really beautiful, splashy leaves. I think it actually, yeah, it has a peduncle that it's working on. There you go. In front of these guys, I have my ooh, Hoya Macrophylla. This is just the green one. Uh, it wasn't doing well in soil. I had blue rot 
So I transferred it into Lekka and I was really surprised to find how much it loves being in Lekka. It's uh, put on new growth and uh, super firm. So I'm just, because of that, I moved my Hoya Macrophylla Elbow Marginata also into Lekka and it's doing pretty well in there too. Yeah, I found it to be kind of tricky to take care of for a really long time. Um, so hopefully Lekka is a solution that it's going to stay happy in there. I have heard from a few people that um, they have had Lekka uh, success in the beginning and then later on uh, root rot in Lekka. So we'll just, I'll have to keep observing and then I'll update you guys. If anything goes awry, is that the word? Just if anything goes wrong. <laughs> okay, next to that is my beautiful, handsome Hoya mini bell. Th these are all new growth. It's also in Lekka. It was uh, sent to me in Lekka. It looks like it needs a little bit more water. It's uh, empty down here now. Um, but yeah, it was shipped to me in this kind of setup. So I just kept it in there. And next to her is my Hoya Dangnan. So beautiful, the veining. I love her too. And then behind her is the Incrisetta uh, Moon Shadow, which I got from Justin. And then back here, the Wilbur Graves that I was telling you guys about. Beautiful splashes. Yeah, I wish it would grow into a bushier plant, but it has just decided to throw out a super long vine and then grow new leaves there, but I'll just let it do its thing. A couple more um, jewel orchids here, and then just my regular Incrisata here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's move on to the bottom shelf of the cabinet. So right here you can see I keep my um, the mother plant of the Sarawak in a baggie because uh, it just wasn't doing very well so I figure I'll give it a little bit, bit extra humidity. The bottom shelf actually has the less humidity, um, the least humidity and the least um, warm. But these Hoyas seem to be still decently happy living in here. So um, I'm not going to take her out, but uh, this is a Hoya Bing Tri. No, Kuang Bing. <laughs> Kuang Bing. It's got really beautiful venation too. Uh, next to it is a Hoya Parasitica heart shape or heart leaf. Um, here's its other leaf. I had a fuller pot, but then um, it had root rot, so this is, these two leaves are the only ones left. And uh, yeah, I hope it um, recuperates. In front of the Parasitica, I have my Hoya Meredithia. It was a little cutting that I did a tray with my friend. Um, and it has a tiny, super tiny little new leaf growing. It's really hard to see, but hopefully it'll grow into a beautiful leaf too. Um, and in front of that guy, I have my Hoya Mindorensis. This one tans really beautifully too into like a really beautiful coral color. And next to this one, I have uh, my Hoya Chicken Farm. This leaf has just really, really stunning splashes. It's a kind of Finlaysonii. And uh, back here, I have another plant called um, Hoya Finlaysonii. It looks, uh, really resembles a lot with Hoya Calistophila in their venation, but it has finer and more venation than the Calistophila, which I have uh, upstairs, I'll show you guys later. Um, next to it is my, this one actually I don't remember the name of, I'll check and then put it in the video, but it's a very pretty Hoya as well. Um, 
And, and then next to this one is a Hoya Iro um, Stamma. Iro Re Stamma. It's a very pretty Hoya with really ovate um, curved leaves and very succulent. And it's got beautiful, beautiful splashes as well. Let me get this one. Yeah, I really love that Hoya. But it's not growing really well for me. It hasn't done any growth. And the one time that I tried to propagate it, it rotted. Next to her, this is another leaf of the Erythrostamma. So cute. Next to her uh, is my Hoya uh, Kuang Chai. It's, uh, it's got a padanko up here, but I really don't, oops, so much light, sorry. I really don't think it's actually gonna bloom. It's just um, juicing a lot. <laughs> All the nectar coming out. Um, and in front of the Kuang Chai is my Hoya Clemen Siorum. Super pretty venation. This is such a gorgeous Hoya. In front of her is my Hoya Kumingiana, which many of you know who've been following me, uh, is my one of my favorite Hoyas. Just the structure of the leaves, I love. It's just such a beautiful blend of feminine and masculine with the way it grows. Like it's beautiful, but it's very structured. Yeah. And next to her is my Hoya Guanguayana. This is a big leaf Hoya. And very, very unique um, variegation. Sorry, this one's asleep. I'm really sorry that they are so kind of crammed in here, so it's hard for you to see the full plant. Um, yeah, but I have so many to go through, so it'll be really hard to take them out one at a time to show you guys. They get featured um, individually a lot in uh, my top 10 favorite Hoya videos. Um, okay, I missed one over here. This is a little guy called Hoya. Um, Dalicho parte, um, but uh, it, this one I've also seen pictures of his sun tanning super beautifully. Right now it doesn't have any sun stress look. And then I took this one out from the cabinet, but I'll show you guys. Uh, this is my Hoya Carnosa Splash. working on a new growth right here. Really pretty, and it seems like the splash turns a little bit pink too, under the grow light. All right, so that's this one um, cabinet, the, all the Hoyas that are in here. Now I'm gonna take you to another spot. I don't have a lot of Hoyas in this spot, but um, I'll show you what I have. This is a Hoya Memoria. It's working on some new growth here. I was actually almost gonna sell this guy, but no one was um, uh, responding to my post and it started to put out new growth. And whenever a Hoya is working on new growth, you know, like my affection for it just kind of quadruples. So then I took off the post and I decided to keep it, even though I have another big pot upstairs. Um, I'm just gonna keep this one. It just, it's so beautiful, the way it trails. Yeah, I think Memoria is a very underrated, beautiful Hoya with beautiful splashes. There you go. Um, Next to her is my Hoya Crimson Princess. Um, yeah, this Hoya, for some reason, I, well, I guess I understand why. It's just so, the variegation is so beautiful. 
This is one of the easiest Hoya to find here in, in BC Canada. You can easily find it in like big box stores, uh, Home Depot. Usually they're like four dollars for a four inch pot um, this year. Last year it wasn't as easy to find it. So yeah, and I think Australis Lisa too has become much easier to find. I know this one has a couple new growth here. And the new growth is um, got this pink color to it, so beautiful. Okay, so next to her we have my, this is just a regular um, Carnosa. So it says it's a pink Carnosa. And uh, that means that it should have pink bloom. Yeah. This was a gift from um, a seller too, after I bought quite a few other Hoyas. So she gifted me this one. Um, and then in the shelf, I also have a Hoya Crinkle 8. There you go. I really, really like this Hoya, but it doesn't love me back. Yeah, it's not really... It hasn't really done a lot of growing for me, only these two leaves, and I think I've had it for about a year. And then, and then finally in this room, <laughs> this is where I keep most of my succulents. Um, I just have my Hoya Caria in here in Lekka. Hoya Caria, I just really treat it like it's a succulent. Um, okay, so that's all the Hoyas I have downstairs. I have a lot more to show you guys upstairs, so here we go. So I realized the video is already at about 30 minutes long, so I'm going to show you guys the upstairs Hoya tour in the next video. If you guys enjoyed this video so far, please click like, subscribe, comment. I really appreciate your support and I will see you guys upstairs. Bye-bye.